You're watching Realistic Fishing, the most realistic fishing show on YouTube. No bullshit, no fake sponsored content. You know how I do it. I can only sum it up by saying one thing. To borrow a quote from Hall of Famer Ron Simmons, all I gotta say is... Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. We're out here to do part two of how to cast light lures on a bait caster. Yesterday's video was about casting light weights and some idiotic commenter said, this isn't realistic at all. Put some soft plastics or skirts on there and you won't be getting anywhere near that distance. Well, corn to leaf rice, this video is just for you. I don't typically argue with morons, but I'm gonna show you that I can cast light lures on my Abu Garcia Black Max. And for everyone who wants to learn, I'm gonna give you some tips. Let's get started. Here are the lures and various things I'm gonna be casting today. We're gonna start out with this half ounce bass jig. I don't recommend casting your brand new jigs onto the pavement because they're gonna get chipped up but we're doing it for science and to show corn to rice that they're a moron. So here it is, half ounce skirted jig. It's got the addition of a skirt, a weed guard, and a hook. As I recall, I casted the half ounce weight, 86 feet. Let's see if I can cast this half ounce jig anywhere near there. According to a know-it-all commenter on YouTube, I can't. Let's see how this goes. Same Black Max as last time. Let's do this. Here we go. Following the line. We're looking for 86 or anywhere near there. Oh, would you look at that? I actually casted it further, 88 feet, two feet further than the lead weight by itself. Now, how could that be? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I was concentrating a little more just to prove this all wrong. Yesterday I was saying how I was just kind of chucking them out there, but with a little bit of extra effort, I got two more feet out of a skirted jig than I did a plain weight. Let's go down to quarter ounce. This is the Classic Man with RWF Wrestling. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. <laughs> Here's the jig head I'm going to throw. We got a VMC Barbarian quarter ounce. And I'm going to put a plastic worm on the end. Let's see how far we can cast this. All right, we got our quarter ounce weighted jig head and a plastic worm. Let's see how far we can cast this. Just to refresh your memory, 88 feet on the half ounce. Let's see what we can do with the quarter ounce. Would you look at that, 89. That's even further than the half ounce. Well, smart guy, I casted it further than the half ounce. I casted it further than the quarter ounce weight by itself. Now what do you gotta say? 
I just love when ignorant people try to argue with me when they have no idea what they're talking about. Moving on, we're going with the 8th ounce striking Bitsy Bug. Let's get ready for another cast. I don't remember exactly how far I casted the 8th ounce weight by itself, but I have a feeling this is going to do something very similar. Let's measure. Oh yeah, quarter ounce, 89 feet. Suck on that. Here we go, we're walking off eighth ounce. Eighth ounce Bitsy Bug on a Abu Garcia Black Max, 73 feet. I just casted a eighth ounce lure, 73 feet on my entry level bait caster. Let's go do a 1 16th ounce rig. I'm Tammy from Texas and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. You know, typically I wouldn't even bother responding to idiotic comments like this, but these people really mislead other fishermen and anglers into believing that you can't cast lightweight lures on entry level bait casters. You can. The thing you got to do is learn how to cast. If you put all your eggs into the basket of a $300 bait caster with all the bells and whistles that prevent you from ever making a bad cast, you're never gonna learn how to cast. Start with something like this, learn how to cast first, then you can really optimize your fishing game if you wanna go for that high price stuff. All it does is fine tune the fishing. It does not make you a good fisherman. Here's the next lure I'm casting, a 1 16th ounce weight on a plastic worm. Let's go measure. Just to refresh your memory, 1 8th was 73 feet. Let's see what the 1 16th is. Sixty one or seventy one, I can't tell what that is. We're gonna go do it again because the counter is about to flip and I can't tell what it's doing. For the sake of transparency, we're walking it again. All right, 61 feet. I just casted a 1 16th ounce lure, 61 feet. So much for what this guy says, he's obviously full of shit. Let's go tie on a 1 32nd ounce with a plastic. And last and least is the 1 32nd ounce jig head, now with a plastic tube. Let's see how far we can cast this. This is Ray with Montana Life Outdoors, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic, guys. Just for reference, the 1 16th ounce lure went 61 feet. Let's see what the 1 32nd ounce did. Forty-two feet. So, 
I got 42 feet out of a 132nd ounce lure. As a matter of fact, I casted all of today's lures further than I casted the weight by itself. And there's a couple reasons for this. One, all the added weight, right? Every time I put a new lure on there, I'm adding weight, adding a hook, adding weight. All that stuff adds up and it can cast further. The second reason is I'm concentrating more just to prove this guy wrong. Yesterday, if I would have casted over and over looking for my best casts, of course I could have gone further, but I was just showing you that it was possible. For the last minute or two, we're gonna go over how I managed to do it. It's all in the settings, right? This knob right here, this knob right here. This is the main brake, right? This only lets the spool go so fast and spin so freely. This is like a tensioner, right? You squeeze it down tight, the spool stops spinning. You loosen it up, the spool starts spinning. See how it is right now? A real slow drop. That's what you want when you're casting light lures. This one, not quite as important, but still makes a difference. This is the magnetic brake. If I cranked it up to 10, it would slow the spool down as it starts slowing down. If I put it to zero, it won't really do anything and the spool will free spin. I have it set on about seven right now. Here's zero, here's max, it's on about seven. Slow spool spin, just like this. Watch one more time, I'm gonna cast the 132nd ounce. One more time, we're gonna adjust the tensioner till it just starts falling, see that? There it is. That's three 30 to 40 foot casts with a 132nd ounce jig. Learn how to set up your rig, learn how to cast, then decide if you wanna buy that expensive stuff. I casted all of today's jigs further than the weights by themselves. 100% possible, 100% on video, you are 100% wrong. And you're blocked for being an argumentative jerk. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.